Hello, Mystery Seekers. Uh, welcome to the Mystery Served. There is a historical episode that is a total mystery. And the night between 12 and 13 August 1799, General Napoleon Bonaparte entered the King's Chamber in complete secrecy in the heart of the Pyramid of Chops, where a mysterious prophet in scarlet robes revealed to him what destiny reserved for him. Now, let's stop a moment. This is what is claimed in the book The Madness of the Emperor by Anthony O'Neill. But what actually happened was never known. But this is what we'll try to understand with this video. With the aim of freeing Egypt from Turkish hands, General Napoleon Bonaparte, victorious in Italy, landing in the Nile in the summer of 1798. With over 30,000 French soldiers aiming to move to Syria. I personally believe that he went to Egypt to receive the initiation into the Great Pyramid and when he expressed the idea of going there, everyone was happy to send it there because by now in Europe he was making war on anything. All the greats of antiquity could not help but hang out in those parts. Alexander, the great Caesar, and Mark Antonio, just name a few. Was the hidden purposes of Egyptian campaign? That is, find the legendary chambers of eternity that guards the meaning of life, the secret of immortality, receive some mysterious initiation. It really happened this mythical and mystical encounter, or was it the fruit of Napoleon's imagination? Napoleon of Bonaparte slept in the king chamber of the great pyramid of Giza. He told everyone he wanted to do it that was necessary. After spending a the night there, he came out pale. To those who asked him when he passed, he replied, even if I say so, you would never believe me. It is a chapter of the story that is made obscure. No one has even managed to make sense of it and some to interpret it as a, a validity of Napoleon, but there could be something else. If looked through the lenses of the mystery. We do not know what is so in the Great Pyramid. But it was certain is the coincidence with what many biographers have reported in that following this episode. And we could even call it adventure, the cause of the ends of Napoleon Bonaparte and of course all his actions took another turn. This story begins with more details on 12 August 799. Napoleon, who deserted himself in the sarcophagus of the king chamber, who visited it, says that indeed the sarcophagus has a mystical aura, so Napoleon entered and slept there. In the morning of the following day he came out of the pyramid, bewildered with a very pale face. His soldiers wanted to know what he had spent that night, because there was rumors that somebody appeared in there, things happened. The first sentence is, he said to feel the warm rays of the sun caressing his face again, because in the Great Pyramid at night it is cold after having been so pale was. Even if I told you, you would never believe me, leaving all his soldiers breathless who never came back to ask him again because he seemed very serious. What Napoleon saw in the Great Pyramid is a total mystery. Even today, he took the secret into his grave and never mentioned it, not even to his biographers. But why so much interest in wanting to sleep in the Great Pyramid? Why did he want to do it? Everything started from the previous year. Napoleon was very interested in knowing the secrets of Egypt. He was more than interested, obsessed. 
This is why we want to land in Alexandria in 1798. In that year he decided to found the Institute of Egypt, an organization that would be responsible for cataloging and deciphering the artifacts of the history of ancient Egypt. He brought with him from France 167 experts and scholars in all areas of different disciplines in charge of deciphering the secrets of Egypt. Among them was the mathematician Gaspar Monge, founder of the Polytechnic, the physicist Etienne Louis Malio and James Claude Louis Bartholet, inventor of bleach. Some of the most brilliant scientists of this generation participated in the call of 2020 years old general without even knowing the destination of the trip until they sailed past Malta. I can't tell you where we are going, but, but this is a place to conquer the glory and to know. This is one of the sentences of the speech that he held during the navigation that perhaps contains the sense of the enterprise. It was during that expedition between the military and the scientific that Europe discovered the wonders of ancient Egypt and found the key to understanding them. While a soldier was digging a trench around the medieval fortress of Rekis, Rechais, an Egyptian port area in the, in the Mediterranean, he accidentally found what is known as the Rosetta Stone, which eventually served to decipher the incomprehensible Egyptian hieroglyphics. Apart from the great wonders that the great pyramid shows, these people following Napoleon discovered something surprising. First, the pyramid measurements are exactions of the size of the earth. The Egyptians of ancient Egypt had a knowledge which with which they couldn't share exactly the size of the earth, a knowledge that even today is not known how it is, was obtained. They found that using certain propositions they could build the world in perfect sites thanks to mathematical precisions. Napoleon's selected group also made a, a curious hypothesis that the King Rome was not a tomb but a universal measurement model, destined to preserve a very important and ancient knowledge, as if its sarcophagus was a key piece of something bigger. It must be said that the original position of the sarcophagus of the King Chamber was not the one we see now. It was on one side. It was completely different and changed the position, cuts a circuit. But we will talk about this later. What Napoleon lived inside the Great Pyramid, as we said, it is a mystery, but there are no people who have lived the same experience and told the revealing of things. Bob Breyer was a North American Egyptologist who studies some text called the text of the pyramids. These texts are of religion nature and were found in a tomb of the five dynasty that's about 2,500 years before Christ. Their content despite the functioning of the pyramids and the resurrection machines not like graves the opposite, therefore. They describe a, a process that works in three stages. First, working the dead with the pyramid. Second, to provoke his ascension to the beyond and the afterlife is indicated in the sky. The third is to facilitate his journey to the gods. The text really tells us how convert a king to a god resurrect him from death, not himself, but his spirit, place it in the heavens, and make him in with, with other gods. Curious, right? Was this the knowledge to which the ambitious general in his speech during navigation referred? This is the eternal obsession of ancient Egypt, to have those king or influential characters remembered, 
but most of them remember it, to live eternally, using the pyramid as one kind of machine to project their energy to the stars. Very interesting. This is which is discovered by Bob Bayer gave his to raise many discussions. Perhaps Napoleon wanted to find out how this mechanism worked inside the great pyramid to become a god. In order to understand a little what Napoleon felt in the solitude of the narc pyramids, we need to talk about Paul Branton's experience. A British writer who had the opportunity to spend a night inside the Great Pyramid, and I tell you that it is very complicated and difficult. Even nowadays, get a permit to sleep alone in the Great Pyramid. This adventurer in 1935 managed to do it, and thanks to this experience, he could write a famous book entitled A Secret Research in Egypt. The king's chamber is entirely in granite, so that night he sat on a slab and lit a small candle. Immobility surrounded him. His candle was the only light. As the night gradually subsided, he could see ghosts wandering. He felt incredibly scared, but he was determined to stay there until the end. These ghosts soon disappeared, but later something even more frightening came. His body felt paralyzed. He saw some people dressed in ceremonial dresses who looked like priests. These ghosts took him a secret room inside the pyramid, a room that is known as the study room. He felt his soul leave the body and enter a space beyond death. What is described is called an astral projection, which is similar to an out-of-body experience. He said he could see a silver cord connect his lifeless body with his soul floating above. The ancient tourist guides told him about the ancient pyramid, but during the, the IV dynasty between 2500 and and 2016 BC, according to official signs. He was told of secret rooms that were inside the pyramid. He says, as the hour passed, the reality was the forming and the smell, silence and darkness mingled with the lack of air. The isolation was so great that I began to have hallucinations. These hallucinations were based on the apparition before me of bodily presence, presences that worked in front of me. They also seemed to indicate two things to me. The first was the granite sarcophagus, as if I wanted to be inside, and the second was a room, a cockpit that could never be found. This person tells us this is a sensory isolation that goes beyond anything we can think of. A mage sleeping standing under the weight of tons and tons of rock, which is known no very well because they were put in there in the darkness of the pyramid silence. Low temperature and lack of air. It is a very distressing thing. Was this what Napoleon lived? Was this what you really could hear? What the, of this body relation they show you place in the pyramid? Napoleon was visited by this by this energy? Or are these just hallucinations fruit of sensory isolation? Yes, later, when Napoleon was on in his deathbed. A dear friend asked him about his experience when he was inside the king's chamber. Napoleon was about to say it, but changed his mind at the last moment. He simply shook his head and said, no, it doesn't help. You never believe me. What seems beyond doubt is that you spend the night in the great pyramid sleeping inside the sarcophagus 
it can lock some kind of subsig faculty, some kind of paranormal energy. When Paul came out of the pyramid and was struck by the rays of the sun, and you see it, like Napoleon, he said something that squares a lot with the pyramid text, who speak of selection machines, effort that his body and mind return to life. It means that with the were resurrected. Other celebrity have received the Great Pyramid. For example, the legendary investigator Javier Sierra. He was there and even slept in the pyramid. He actually talks about contrasts, the darkness, sensory isolation, the cold and, on the other hand, the hate, the resurrection, the soul life. Very interesting of this. Clear, we cannot ascertain what Napoleon saw, but it might have been similar to the experiences we have collected. We leave it to your judgment. With this, the, the video is finished. The mystery is served, and as we always say, if you like the video, please put like and share it. Thank you, and see you soon.